throwing Mayfield. And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. Taewon Taylor, his second touchdown on the season. And the Browns are going to tack on to their advantage. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that makes it a 21-10 game. This one taken from the seven. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. And New York set to take the field. So first and 10 now from the 30. A play fake, and it's Darnold. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Here's Darnold. And he finds Howard complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football. But that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Well, that's pretty symptomatic about how things have gone here. That play was just shut down right from the start. And not going to give him a lot of confidence to help turn things around. To throw is Darnold. And here is a leaping catch. He pulled it in. It'll be a gain of 12, but it will also lead to fourth down. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. And he's got a man. It's the tight end Howard complete. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. From the 30 on second down, Darnold. That's caught. It's Thomas. And they move this all the way down to the nine. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. Here's second and goal, operating from the eight-yard line. Darnold now to throw. And Thomas has it. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Five yards that time on the completion. And now it's third and goal. And, partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. Got a man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. O.J. Howard, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game as his guys are back within a single score. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. And it's no good. Well, that could be a critical miss here in a one-score game in the fourth. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Heading out as the Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. 
but you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays that are going to gain yardage, how would you say it, consistently, right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs, and the goal? And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Khalil Mack, and he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter. Turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter what point, you got to be super careful. Got to be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. They'll run it again with Barkley. There's a nice move. A strong running. <laughs> And after the nice stiff arm, the next wave swarms in quickly for the stop. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Back to throw, Darnold. Open man is Howard, the tight end. And all the way down inside the five to the four. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. They come out with one back and three tight ends. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. They come up on a first and goal with this game still hanging in the balance. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Good first step there defensively, but they're still knocking on the doorstep, so maybe another run here? I think so. One of my favorite coaches used to say, son, if you could darn near lay down near the end zone and get in, give me my best power running play with my best back right now. Fullback try and take him home. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short gain. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. And Barkley did not get there. No gain on the play. And what to do now on fourth and goal? I'm a little surprised right here. They've got three timeouts left. The clock's running down, and they aren't using them. Those timeouts do you no good at home. Use them now. Danny, 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 Danny. Fourth down, Darnold, and he's got for a touchdown. And they have taken the lead here in the final seconds. So for those of little faith, guess what? It got done. They now have the lead with that touchdown this late in the contest. I wonder if that was a play they were holding or a play that they just knew would work from past experience. Well, I just saw it in their eyes on the sideline before starting that last drive, and they did. You're right. They got it done. Looks like they're going to be the winners. PAT up and good by Rosas. And it would appear, barring some late heroics, they're going to get out of here with a come-from-behind victory. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll put it out to the 25. The Browns drive about to get started. Look at the clock. Everyone knows the situation. Probably time here for one final play. And we know what that play is going to be. It's got to be some sort of Hail Mary throwing it towards the end zone and hoping someone can catch it or catch it off of a tip. 
Think back to 2015. Didn't we see Green Bay pull that off yep. twice Absolutely. in the season? Once in the regular season, once in the playoffs. So stranger things have happened. It'd be interesting to see what the defensive strategy is about who they put on the field to try and knock that ball away. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So for the Jets, there was...